Welcome to another video lesson from SketchNest.com. I'm Brandon. Let's jump right in. Today we're going to be talking about a big scary word that applies to mortgage loans and that word is amortization or amortization or however you want to pronounce it. You'll hear it pronounced different ways. You'll see it written in a lot of your mortgage documents and possibly on, possibly on a lender's website. It looks really scary but it's actually harder to say, harder to pronounce than it is to understand. Amortization is the general reduction of your mortgage balance over time. You make your payments, the payments are handled in a systematic way and they are applied to the principal balance and the principal balance goes down over time and that's called amortization, amortization, however you want to pronounce it. It means the same thing. Now let's talk about a fixed rate mortgage for, for an example here. Now a fixed rate mortgage as you know has the same amount of interest uh, or excuse me the same payment uh, over time uh, and the same amount of interest applied to the loan actually this lesson applies to all different kinds of loans so we're not really gonna stick to the fixed rate loan but you'll see what it how it all ties together in just a minute so these individual blocks here these little rectangles are mortgage payments uh, and this just shows that they're the same over time the total payment is the same over time. But when you make a payment on your mortgage loan, you're paying two things, or it has two parts. It has an interest component, and this comes from the interest rate that you get charged by the lender. And it has a principal component. Now the principal component of your mortgage payment is what goes toward the principal amount you borrowed. Hopefully, hopefully you can read that. So you've got each mortgage payment consists of two parts, the principal and the interest. Now, the amount of principal and interest that is included in each payment will change over time. And this is something that you can, you can understand by looking at an amortization table or schedule. So that's another key phrase you'll hear over time. This shows you how your loan is repaid over time and what portion of the interest and what portion of the principal is included within each mortgage payment. So this rectangle is a mortgage payment that is early on in the term of the loan. So let's just divide it here and let's put a red P up here in the top and a blue I down here in the bottom. This top part of the mortgage payment is principal and this amount here is interest. You can see in the early part of a loan, in the early terms, the first few years of your mortgage repayment period, you are mostly paying interest this is all down here is interest that you're paying. So you don't reduce your principal amount very quickly in the first part and the first part of the uh, loans term. Over time, let's say you're about halfway through, you're hanging on to a 30 year loan and you're 15 years into it. Over time, uh, the amount of interest in principal might be the same. So here's your, here's your P for principal and here's your I for interest. Again, this rectangle represents a mortgage payment and now half of it is principal going toward the reduction of principal or amortization and the other half is interest. When your mortgage gets toward the end of its term the, the distribution or the uh, proportion is going to look something more like this. Most of your payment is going to go toward the principal and a much smaller amount will go toward the interest. This is how the typical mortgage loan works. So this, these blocks here, this first block is kind of early on uh, this block here is maybe toward the middle of your repayment term and this block is toward the end so as you're, you you pay your as you get further into your payback period more of your individual payment goes toward the principal reduction so what does this mean not a whole lot it just shows you how your payments are behaving and how quickly your principal is being reduced so here's a table that shows how this translates over time. You can see that each one of these bars growing across the top are the same. So the size of the payment is the same. Now the axis going across the bottom where it shows 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way up to 29. Those are just odd numbers that represent a 30-year mortgage term. So you can see that over on the left there's more uh, the peach color, kind of the peachy color there is the interest and the darker orange color is the principal. So early on in the payback period, 
year one, three, five, seven, nine, you're paying mostly interest. And you can see there kind of in the middle around year 15 going across the bottom. You can see that the peach and the orange colors are about even, just like I demonstrated earlier. That means each of the payments are split almost evenly between int interest and principal. Now look all the way over to the right side where it says year 27, 29. You can see that almost all of the mortgage payment, the monthly mortgage payment, is going toward the principal reduction. And these can, tables can work out in different ways, but that's just how it works, and that's what amortization means. It means the general reduction of a loan balance over time, and amortization table or schedule shows you how this happens in a systematic fashion with part of your, anyway, that, that should say table, part of your payment going toward the interest and part of your payment going toward the principal reduction.